Hey folks, Arm and Hammer here, and I wanted to be the first to welcome you to the 2019 CrossFit Games season, because whether you're ready or not, it has begun. It has begun! The first two sanctioned events sending athletes to the CrossFit Games, Dubai and Wadapalooza, kicked off their online qualifiers this past weekend, and that is the start of the 2019 CrossFit Games season. Today, we're gonna to take a look at what happened over that first weekend of qualifying events in both Dubai and Wadapalooza. This episode is brought to you by O2 Recovery, I'll tell you more about them later. Let's get to it. The first week of the 2018 Dubai CrossFit Championships online qualifier had two workouts. The first one was a couplet of double unders and thrusters. The other was a couplet of double unders and chest bar pull-ups. Dubai has decided to invite their previous champions to come compete this year without having to go through the online qualifier, but with a very limited amount of spots available and a huge roster of athletes who are trying to make this event happen, this qualifier is gonna be pretty stacked. On top of the fact that these athletes can actually go and compete in Dubai to earn a spot at the CrossFit Games, Dubai has a massive prize purse and pays out very well through both the online qualifier and in person when people are competing at the event. And with a draw like that, we're seeing some incredible talent show up to compete on the online qualifier. At the end of week one of the online qualifier for Dubai, the men's side is topped by Street Corner, 2017 CrossFit Games athlete, but he's not that far ahead of a lot of very, very talented athletes. Athletes like Willie George, Alex Smith, Alex Anderson, Jacob Hefner, all of these guys are right on Street Horner's tail. And with two weeks of multiple workouts left, it's gonna be a really, really exciting qualifier. On the women's side, Laura Horvath, who just took second at the CrossFit Games in 2018, is dominating, having won both workouts involved in week one. But just like Horner, Laura Horvath is being chased by the top talent in the CrossFit space right now. From Jamie Green to Sam Briggs, Everyone is trying to get a spot at the Dubai CrossFit Championships in order to punch their ticket to Madison as early as possible. Dubai's online qualifier also includes a super team division, and we are seeing some super teams. From familiar faces like Invictus X with Sam and Jen Dancer, Holden Rethwill and Caitlin Cassis, all the way to an absolute bonkers super team featuring Cassidy Lance McWhorter, Adrian Moonweiler, Jennifer Smith, and Lucas S. Slinger, four insanely talented individual athletes who have already thrown their hats in together in order to create what is probably the most individually stacked team we've ever seen. Not surprisingly, the Cassidy, Jen, Adrian, Lucas super team is crushing it. I think they're probably gonna be fine when it comes to qualifying for Dubai, but there are only 10 team spots up for grabs and well, if you're not gonna be putting together a roster with that type of talent, it's probably gonna be kinda of tough for you to make it. Moving on to Wadapalooza. The Wadapalooza online challenge kicked off at the same time as the Dubai online qualifier, and it included three events in the first week. The first event was this quick burner, kind of based off of Jackie, double unders, wall ball, chest bar pull-ups. And then after that is the sets two and three, which was kind of this paired up workout. It was like three minutes of max clean and jerks and then three minutes to find a max clean and jerk, which is a very interesting pairing. But overall, we had three events in that first week of the Wadapalooza online challenge and we saw some people show up. Where Dubai is only inviting previous champions to come compete, at their event, Wadapalooza has sent out invites to the top 20 CrossFit Games athletes from 2018. So their qualifying process is not going to include as many of those top talents. That doesn't mean it's gonna be easy to qualify because in order to make it to the pro division, you have to place in the top 20 on the men's side or the top 20 on the women's side to make that division cut. So while the Wadapalooza online qualifier isn't quite as stacked as the Dubai online qualifier, we still have some top talent showing up. And at the top of the men's side of the leaderboard is Samuel Cornoyer. Corn, Cornoyer, Cornoyer. Sam is a guy named Sam. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, so if I'm doing it wrong, someone please tell me. Either way, he is part of Michelle Latondra's insane, insanely talented DECA comp team out of DECA CrossFit, which is really just mind-blowing the amount of athletes that Michelle Latondra has been able to develop into 
real hard-hitting competitors. Right behind him is a CrossFit Games veteran, Mitch Barnard, who is making a comeback after taking a little bit of time off from competing. So the competition on the men's side of the Wadapalooza online qualifier is pretty, pretty stacked. At the end of week one, Danny Spiegel is at the top of the women's side of the Wadapalooza online qualifier. She barely missed qualifying for the 2018 CrossFit Games, just a few spots out, out of the Atlantic region. And right behind Spiegel is Haley Murillo, who is coming off of an impressive second place finish in the pro division at Granite Games just a few weeks ago. So with Dubai and Wadapalooza kicking off their online qualifiers, the 2019 CrossFit Games season has already begun. And with so many moving parts and so many different qualifiers to pay attention to, it's easy to miss some of the most important details, like who's actually gonna make it to the games. Lucky for you, that's what I'm here for. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, folks. I really appreciate all your support, and I love doing this. And I know that most of you enjoy watching this, so if you do, please like, comment, subscribe, share, tag your friends. Make sure that they are getting the same deep analysis and information that you are. And I also wanted to tell you about a new partnership that I have with O2 Recovery. You kind of see it right there. They're delicious. I tried them out at first at the CrossFit Games and I have been drinking it nonstop ever since. It's kind of like a healthier option for a sports drink. It's recovery, it's electrolytes. They have caffeinated and non-caffeinated versions. It's really, really good. And if you haven't tried it, you should try it. And if you have tried it, you probably love it. And if you want more or you wanna try some, you can go to drinko2.com your order, you're gonna put in Armin, A-R-M-E-N, as your code, and you're gonna get 15% off and free shipping. So give it a shot, see what you think, support them, support me, and I'll see you guys next time.